Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slider here. In this video, we are gonna talk about how to implement the navigation drawer in Android. In the previous video, we talked about what is a navigation drawer, why do you need it, what do you do with it, and how you should do things as per guidelines for the navigation drawer. In this video, we are gonna take a look at the steps involved in creating one and we're gonna jump to Eclipse and gonna start working on the code. So first, these are the following steps that you need to keep in mind for making a navigation drawer. Step 1. Create a drawer layout. This drawer layout represents a special layout inside which your main content and the navigation drawer list view will go inside this. The second step is to initialize the drawer list view. Whether it's a basic list view or an expandable list view, you're gonna initialize that inside the second step. Step 3 is to handle the click events. What happens when a person clicks on an item from the list view inside your navigation drawer? This is where you decide. Step 4, you're gonna listen for open and close events of your navigation drawer. What do you do when the navigation drawer is opened? What do you do when it just closes? So those kind of events are handled over here. Step 5 is to set up some action bar synchronization with the navigation drawer. In other words, when you have the item selected inside the list view that is the proper title of the action bar and there is a special icon on the top left near your home screen icon of your app that indicates that there is a navigation drawer inside your app and all those little action bar configuration stuff which we discussed in my previous video will start over here in the step number five so let's move on and see what step number one is all about step number one is create a drawer layout so Drawer layout is like the special type of layout that allows for interactive views to be pulled out from the edge of the window. Now drawer layout in itself represents the whole screen. Now positioning of the navigation drawer or the thing that slides on your screen is controlled with this attribute Android layout gravity. Now it can be either left or right at the same time it can also be start or end depending on which version of Android you're working with. Now to, position, to use a drawer layout, now make sure that your primary main content of the screen is the first child with a width and a height of match parent inside this drawer layout. Now like I said the drawer layout has two things inside. One of them is a frame layout that actually shows that the main content is contained within the frame layout and the second one is the list view or expandable list view or anything that you want to show inside the navigation drawer. So add the drawers as child views after the main content and set the layout gravity appropriately. Now if you set the layout gravity as left or start, then the navigation drawer will open from the left towards the right. If you set it at end or right, it will open from the right side and it will work that way. I will show you both, don't worry about it. Now drawers commonly use match parent for a height and a fixed width. Now make sure that the width lies between 240 and 320 as we discussed in the previous video as per the guidelines. Now when the drawer is opened or closed, you have a special listener which is drawer listener that can be used to monitor the state and the motion of the drawer views out there. Any drawers that are contained on the left side in your app should contain the main content for navigating around your app whereas the drawers positioned on the right side should contain the actions to take on the current screen because this is what the guideline says all the actions are on the right hand side like for example cut copy paste if you wanted to put that inside a navigation drawer then that drawer should open from the right hand side however if you want to go to page 2 page 3 page 4 from your navigation drawer then that drawer should be contained on the left hand side as per the guidelines so step 1 is the biggest step let's take a look at what are the different things involved in this Declare your user interface with the drawer layout object as the root view of your layout. Now within this drawer layout have one view that contains the main content which is a frame layout in most of the cases and another view that contains the navigation drawer. So the main content is the frame layout that must be the first child inside the drawer layout because the navigation drawer itself will come as the second view which means it will be placed on top of the first one as per what you call as Z ordering. Now if you guys are familiar with CSS, Z ordering indicates that on a particular screen if there are four things at the same place, 
who comes on top of whom that's what z ordering controls and the second one that is in our case the list view comes on top of the frame layout and therefore it is placed below the frame layout as per the schematics now the whole main content that is the frame layout is set to width as, ma as match parent for the width and height because it represents the entire UI when the navigation drawer is hidden. Now the drawer view that is the list view itself must specify the Android layout gravity attribute and of course like I said it can be either start or left for placing the drawer on the left hand side or it can be end or right for opening the drawer from the right hand side. And of course make sure it between 240 to 320 and so on so now that we talked about all this let's go to Eclipse and try to actually implement this and see if we can actually see a drawer popping up to use a navigation drawer across all versions on your Android what you're gonna need is a support library so far in my videos I haven't shown you how a support library works or how to use it so let me start with that first here so if you go to your SDK manager on your Eclipse at the bottom what you have is this extra section where there is the Android support library in my case it's installed in your case if it's not installed make sure that you install it first now not being done the next thing that you need to do is import something called app compat from the support library that contains action bar activity a special type of class that lets you use an action bar even on the older devices that don't support it before 11 to be precise so go here say import existing code into workspace click next click browse in my, in my case the Eclipse is in C webs programming tools Android Eclipse there's the Eclipse folder and then there's the SDK folder so go inside the SDK folder go to extras go to Android go to support and then there is v4 v7 v13 and so on so let's say go to v7 and then you see app compat grid layout media router and so on so import app compat over here click ok click finish and app compat is right here so at this point if you go here to your libs folder here make sure that these are added to your build path by saying, saying build path add to build path and again select the other library build path add to build path and both of them are added the next thing that you need to do is right click or you can directly go to build for build path from here say build path configure build path and at this point make sure that these two are checked and uncheck Android dependencies and go to the library section just see what's there projects order export click OK at this point and your support library app compat is successfully imported inside your app now let's go ahead and make our application over here which is gonna make our navigation drawer so let's complete our step one for creating a navigation drawer for that we need to have a drawer layout which is android.support.widget so the next thing that you need to do is give it an ID over here by saying Android ID let's say at the rate ID drawer layout so this is support v4 widget drawer layout and then what you have is the width and the height so Android layout width I don't think that's gonna show the option here is gonna be match parent as well this could because the drawer layout represents the entire screen and not just the navigation drawer and hence you should have the full width and full height on that next thing that you need to do is have the main content inside a frame layout over here so you say frame layout ID say at the rate ID call it main content something like that again for the width and height you gotta make sure that you have a okay there's no width and height options over here just put now the third thing that comes up is your actual drawer in our case it is a list view which is gonna act as the drawer so say list view here ID let's call it drawer list view or something like that drawer list for the width for the height okay again the suggestions are not available so for the width make sure that it's between 240 to 320 DP so I'm gonna put 240 over here for the height it's match parent in our case and that's all we need to do now just to test if this thing appears or works or not let's just put some entries inside the list view so if you remember there's an attribute called Android entries so I'm gonna make a string array inside our strings.xml it will be called as planets now this will have all the nine planets that we usually know so let me add them 
So for the list view, I have set Android entries equals to at the rate array slash planets, linking to this string array here inside strings.xml, which contains the nine planet names that we have. Now one of the things that you need to tell here is from where the list view should pop out, whether it's from the left or whether it's from the right side when your drawer opens. So for that, you need to have a layout gravity attribute here. Layout direction, I want layout gravity equals to let's say left over here so at this point let's go and run this here so there's my web snap test which is the app that we just made if you swipe from the left edge of the screen there you go what you see is mercury venus earth mars and all those things popping up again if you swipe back it goes back and your main content is seen again so this is all you need to do to create a navigation drawer to be honest with you and what you see on the blogs and the websites is hundreds and thousands of lines of code for doing the same shit so further let's build up on this and figure out exactly what kind of stuff needs to be done so go to the main activity here now of course let me remove all the unwanted imports by saying organize imports here now the first thing that we need to do is bring our drawer layout I'm gonna say private drawer layout the next thing that we need to bring is our list view here by saying list view so at this point all you gotta do is initialize the drawer layout here by saying drawer layout so this completes our first step of creating a navigation drawer and you guys actually saw the drawer in action now let me show you something if you have another if you go back to the strings.xml let me change something here let me add another string array just to show you guys something here so I have another string array here which is called stars and it has Sun, Sirius, A, B and whatever other stars are out there that I'm aware of. So go to activity main again. Now this time copy paste the list view. Put another list view down. Call it drawer list 2 here. For the entries make sure this is stars in place of planets and for the layout gravity say right over here. So at this point let's just run the nav test and let me show you what happens here. So Web's nav test is launched. Now if you swipe from left to right you see Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars popping up. So swipe back, you go back to the main screen as usual. Now if you swipe from right to left, what you see is Sun, Sirius A, Sirius B, Alpha Centauri, Proxima Centauri. You swipe back, it goes back again. So this is nothing but a dual navigation drawer. In other words, there are two drawers. One that opens from left to right, the other that opens from right to left. So below the frame layout, which is the content layout, what you can have is list views or you can say drawer views that can open in both directions left or right now the ones on the right are supposed to contain actions as per the last video the ones on the left are supposed to contain navigation to the main screens or the main sections inside your app so in the next video we're gonna go further and we're gonna work on the code handling events and complete the remaining steps that we discussed in the previous video in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you guys in the next video, have a nice day.